Hey my friends, I'm out in Newark on Trent and they've opened a new MLS food store. Look at this thing. So let's go inside and see just how expensive this place really is. Okay, so they're welcoming us into the store with the healthy options. Can you see? Right. <laughs> okay, so as we get a feel for what's about to happen to my till, walnut halves are five quid and pistachio nuts are five quid. I think that's rather telling. Now they're really going for it with the plant-based action. This is quite a decent display, look at this. We've got this range here called Made Without. This is MS's own range. Nice range of fresh soups. And I'm gravitating to these yellow stickers straight away. Look at this. And it is, it's a ch <laughs> chunky smoked haddock chowder. One of my favorites. Right, get in the basket. Quite deceptive packaging though. I thought they were like big and round. And they look big on the shelf when you take it off. It's actually quite thin. Here's some of their diet range action. Okay, so the Chinese section looks like nothing's changed from uh, another MS food. Then we've got this Taste Thailand, 10 quid for what you get in there, like curries and noodles and da 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 and all the rest of it. Okay, and they're doing it in Chinese and Indian. All for a tenner a pop. I can't see any new curries in here. However, they are offering their best ever chicken tikka masala for five quid. So we'll give that one a go. Standard pizza selection. Do you know what? It's just Son of Oni's favourite pizza. So I'm going to get him a M&S one today. See what he thinks of that. Okay, so I couldn't find the side, so I asked one of the lovely assistants in here, and she showed me over here. So I've got to say, the customer service thus far has been very welcoming. So I'm going to go with the cheesy, dirty fries. And the loaded potato skins because my ma loves those things, so I dropped those off to her on the way back. Now then, if anybody wants to spend all of their savings in one go, how about a 25 quid slow-cooked short bib of reef? It's got truffle jus. That may be partly why it's 25 quid. But if you haven't got so much money, you can always have one of these. Oh, look at this. <laughs> a boneless basted beef joint for £5.36. It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? chicken, duck, and you get your pork and briskets. God, it just never stops. Chicken section, chicken tenders, some of fried chicken tenders. They're called chicken tenders then these days. I think that's a, a, like an American term. Fish, chunky codfish fingers, some of my favorite things. Oh, blimey, it's huge. <laughs> Our best ever. If you want to try their best ever, for example, a lasagna will knock you out for eight quid. Yeah. Mashy stuff and vegetable -y stuff. I've got to say, my friends, there's a lot of yellow stickers today. So this only opened up, I think it was earlier this week. So I think they were expecting a bigger influx of people because they seem to be knocking half the stuff off. Great for me. Seven quid pies and slightly smaller five quid pies, steak and chips pie. It's pretty much their usual display of regular ready meals with the prices that they've always been. So that's good to see. I've done a few roast beef dinners recently. So we'll move along and we have roast pork and we have roast chicken. So I think I'll give this one a blast. And their dining range is now 12 quid for two people rather than 10. Let's see if there's anything different. So roast duck à l'orange. Beef bourguignon. Hearty looking cottage and shepherd spies. Kievs. Parmigianas. Chicken forester. Oh, oh hey, now you've caught my attention. They've got a decent selection, my friends, I've got to say. 
you know what? One of those mains and starters and desserts for 12 quid, I think is fantastic value. And they have a frozen section here. Pretty standard stuff in these uh, frozen freezers, but that's all uh, right. I didn't expect anything different, to be honest with you. It's got a few kids options as well. And Little Roots, I haven't seen that one before. Very the now. What's your first name? Well, Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> are you at the store assistant manager? Yeah. Not an assistant manager, I'm well, just the... an assistant. Oh, hello assistant, you are very friendly. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube. Hello. This is a wonderful new store. You like it? Yeah, it's beautiful and I love all the yellow stickers. This man is uber friendly, my friends. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, have a good day. You too. Bye. Oh, they've normally got some decent stuffing cans in M&S, so let's have a look. That's a new one on me. I've got to do it. Oh, just look at it. It's wonderful. There's chili con carne, beef bolognese, steak and kidney, chunky steak, chunky chicken. Oh, yes. Irish stew. £3.50 is what I got. That's going to... Where was it? Where's it gone? Here it is. Look at that. That's bound to be good, isn't it? £3.50, all the money for a tin of Irish stew. Just so we know, in the chilli, it's 27% beef. Not bad. And the bolognese? My eyes are deceiving me. 50%. 50% beef. Get, get in that basket. Oh. And you can self-scan, or obviously you can use tills as well. Decent stash. Right. Let's see what the damage is. Here it comes, my friends. One after the next. It's two Celsius outside, so you won't be surprised to hear that I'm going for the curry. So weighing in at 460 grams, M&S, our best ever chicken tikka masala. Smoky masala sauce with pieces of tandoori red chicken breast, red chilies and coriander. Microwave or oven cook? For best results, microwave. So I'm gonna do just that. And microwave it for four minutes, 30 seconds. So here it is my friends, straight out of the microwave. I am absolutely loving the color of this thing. We start off with the light orange going to the darker, rusty orange towards the rim. As we stir it up, we can see that this sauce is really thick. Look at that. And it smells very creamy and really curry. It's quite aromatic indeed. Now this is meant to serve two people which is why the chicken content is 53%. And just look at these hunks of breast, just one after the next. Up close and personal, this thing looks miraculous. Just look at the herbs and spices and the oil. It's so big, it even goes over the edge of the spoon. Right, let's open one of these things up so it's like inside. I can safely say that's one of the cleanest looking breasts I've ever seen. Now, if you're gonna take this thing on by yourself without rice, you'll be getting 722 calories, 43.2 grams of fat, of which 17 grams is saturated fat. The herbs and spices are present throughout, so I'm hoping for layer upon layer of flavor and I'm always particularly attracted to an oily edge. And this large piece of breast is getting me very excited. So it's time to get involved. Oh, do you know what? It actually smells like a curry house curry. Right, sauce first, here we go. Oh yeah. That right there, my friends is one of the best tikka masala sauces I've ever tasted. That really does have a lot of layers going on. There are so many herbs and spices, I can't even begin to tell you what they all are. It's really creamy, 
And there's a little bit of chili kick as well in the background. There's also a little bit of texture going on in there as well, because as you can see, there are so many herbs and spices and the odd seed, but there's nothing potent about it. Subtle, nice chicken. Oh, I can't wait to do that again. That chicken is the right consistency, just about the right amount of juiciness, masticates down well, and the flavor of the chicken is incredible. I've got to get re-involved. Yep, that chicken is a fine thing, my friends. And this sauce, when you tip it onto those breast pieces and just do the whole thing like that, it's like I'm in heaven, curry heaven. I've just remembered that was tandoori chicken breast that was put into that sauce, which is why it tastes so flavorful on its own. If you're a chicken tikka masala fan and you're expecting no heat, unfortunately, there is a bit of chili kick in the back of your throat. So just be aware of that. I didn't get any gnarly bits in the chicken, but there were just one or two tiny seeds that were a little bit too sweet for my liking, but that's it. Other than that, this thing is a nine and a half out of 10 to this last bite. Mmm. So, m &S, our best ever chicken tikka masala. I agree, chaps. That is your best chicken tikka masala ever. If there was ever a curry I wanted to kiss, it would be that one because it's smooth and deep in flavour. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Oh, come on, focus, fool. What are the sides? I say so. La, la, la. Oh, I've done it again. Where's the camera? So I'm in a micro. Okay. Over. You'll be giving yourself. Ah, um, yeah. Ah. Oh. As you cut your what? As you cut your spoon? I just remembered that's tandoori breast. That was. It would be that one.